Daily Aquarius Magic D Magician Tarot. I don't know when it comes to you guys, I'm always doing like signs, signs and symbols. All right, so here we go. This is Magic D Magician Tarot. This is your daily for October 3rd, 2018. You are an Aquarius. Or you might be cross watching if you're an Aquarius. If you're an Aquarius and you know that other people are tripping about you. Make a decision, Aquarius, once again. Or you, cross watcher, make a decision. Are you going to talk to this person or not? Because they're bugging out over you. Queen of Wands. Fire sign. Again, this Leo lady. The beginning of the day, she's on your mind. Where did she go, man? Who's this Leo lady? Or this, like, sort of a little bit feminine Leo man. Or she could be Capricorn. I don't know why. Um, she could be Aries. Or Capricorn, but she could be she could be an Aries. She could be an Aries woman, a Leo woman. What's my fire sign? Oh my god! I don't know why I'm forgetting her name. Whatever. She's a Leo. I'm getting that she's a Leo. And in the morning, you're thinking about her. Middle of the day, could be thinking about yourself or another air sign. Do you have these two things going on? An air sign and a fire sign. Am I looking at a fire sign? Oh my god. This one's driving me crazy. And by the end of the day, how are we going to be feeling? Damn, Aquarius. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is a soulmate. Who you're, like, obsessed with. You are obsessed with this person. Where did she go? Where is she that you can't talk to him? Or where is he that you can't talk to him? Is he, like, maybe he's... On deployment. Maybe he is some sort of on a mission. Let's see. Alright. So you got your lover's card here. By the end of the night, you're gonna be connecting with one or both of these people. You may need to make a decision on which one it's gonna be. You may need to be decide is it your soulmate or is it a fling that is a trap. You need to use your powers of discernment, Aquarius. Think about what's best for you. Because even though you're obsessed, it might not be the right thing for you. Let's figure out. Who is the soulmate? Oh my god, we got another completely different thing. Okay, so there's a man in your life. Taurus. Uh, Capricorn. I don't know why with you guys like it's very specific this guy's a Taurus and he is your love or he loves you but for some reason you're thinking about this fiery thing this fiery person this Leo that you can't get off your mind that has this beautiful hair and just has a way about her that's very different from this guy so maybe you're bisexual, or maybe you are uh, questioning what you really want in life. Maybe you, instead of the security, you might want something a little bit on the side, some sort of fling. But the decision that you have to make is not having to do with this person. This person is already there, stable. He's, he's your dude. He's there for you. And if it's not a love thing, then this is maybe your dad, the influence of your dad or something like that, that you want to emulate and you 
you maybe want to have a sort of relationship that he has or you're looking for uh, somebody that will support you financially. But neither of these people are really... Well, this one is you. You're going to be able to support yourself. You're always going to be fine. Look at yourself. But this person here, you know, she's gone. Where is she? Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys had an ending. You moved, she moved on from you. And that makes you really sad. And you obsess over it. And you wake up every day thinking about her. Swords. Why is the Five of Swords coming up? Let's see. <sighs> Damn, she really hurt your self esteem. Oh my god. But you have to be positive and you have to look at your failure and your limitation as a lesson. You gotta learn the lesson. And that's why right now you're trying to. Let go of the hurt feelings that you have and focus on you and how that would make you better. And you're still on a karmic journey with this with this soulmate. Because you love but that's the thing about love is like love hurts a lot. So even though you know you, you kinda for some reason I'm getting luck. You were lucky. That you were given this person to support you and love you. Whether that's a father figure or even a friend. Some sort of earth sign. Whoever that person is. That was Aries. So this Aries or Leo here. This person doesn't know about this person. Aquarius. You need to figure out. What part of the lesson you're going to focus in on? Are you going to focus in on, I need to do what's best for my future? Cut the bullshit out. Cut out my crying over this person that doesn't care about me anymore, honestly. They've moved on from you. And commit, recommit to this person. Or do you need to come forth with the truth? Tell this person the truth. Because the heart wants what it wants. And that might be ugly. But so is this. So is this Two of Swords energy that's got you waking up, missing someone that is over you. You know, you gotta face this. Six of, you know, this Five of Swords. You have to get over that feeling of self esteem, being injured. And, you know, pick up the sword. Because there are lots of people that love you, but I feel like a little bit of envy, a little bit of regret on your part for today, October 3rd, 2018. Alright Aquarius, you know what you need to do is tell the damn truth. Alright, do it. Magic D, Magician Tarot, tell the truth. Uh, you know, sometimes that What's gone is gone. Alright, love you guys. You're gonna make it through. Like, share, and subscribe. Be back tomorrow.